is Amanda on the Globe. How's it going? I hope everyone's having a great day. It is the summer here in Western Australia. I'm in Perth still. I have some really exciting travel plans coming up. I literally just booked a ticket a few days ago. I'm going to Bali next. I'm so pumped. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, so today I wanted to talk to you about how I got into freelance writing and how I'm able to support myself while traveling the world. So let's start at the beginning. I decided I was going to travel about, it was about a year and a half ago. I decided I was going to travel and I moved back in with my parents. I started saving really, really hardcore. I did not spend money on anything. Saving was my priority and I saved about $15,000 in five months. I have a video on how I did it. I'll link that here. I saved a lot of money really fast. I started traveling um, five months after I started saving. I traveled for almost a year. I traveled for about 11 months on what I had saved, which was about $15,000, maybe a little bit less than that. Um, so $15,000 for a year of travel is not bad at all. <laughs> uh, I will say that I was pretty freaking broke though when I came to Australia. I'm not sure I would really suggest that to other people, but it was a last resort and it ended up working out. I am now living in Australia and I am working. I'm working on, I have a working visa, so I'm currently working um, casual in a coffee shop and that gives me money to pay my rent and buy food <laughs> and I try to save as much as I can. So I'm currently working making money from a coffee shop. I work there three to four days a week and the days are usually anywhere between eight to ten hours a day that I'm working. So that pays most of my bills, pays all of my bills, um, but I am trying to I made a video about this kind of recently, but basically what I'm trying to do is become sustainable without having to have a job, and I would prefer to work freelance writing. I am currently, uh, I just got two different positions as a staff writer for two different companies. One of them is a startup company, and one of them is a very established website, which I'm very excited to write on. I'm going to be writing about minimalism, but the website is focused on um, tiny houses and tiny living and the other website that I'm writing for is a travel adventure based company so I am helping them write their itineraries. Once they launch I will start writing blog posts for them. I have to open a window because it's so freaking hot in here right now. God. Okay. So yeah, that's what I'm currently doing. I am not making a sustainable income from either of those yet because both of them have just started but soon I will be, so let's cross our fingers for that. <laughs> um, yeah, so a few people have asked me now how I got into these jobs and how I got these jobs, and I was kind of hesitant to make a video about it because I feel like you guys are not gonna like the answer. Um, I'm gonna tell you how I got these jobs, and then I'm gonna tell you the ways that I know that you can get jobs if you want to do this too. So basically how I got these jobs, the first one for the travel adventure company, I got through the randomest way ever. Basically what happened was when I was in Thailand, I had a bike and I was trying to sell it and I posted in a Chiang Mai secondhand bike group saying that I wanted to sell my bike and basically the marketing manager for this company saw my post because he was living in Chiang Mai also and he looked at my profile and I tend to write quite a bit on Facebook. I kind of write like essays. I write a lot on Facebook and so he saw my writing on Facebook and he contacted me and he said I don't want your bike but I kind of want you to write for my company and I met up with him and he told me about the job and it all worked out really well. I did a trial for them and they gave me the job so that's really exciting. Um, that job pays pretty decently for a writer which I'm really really excited about and I'm really, I've started to do a little bit of work for them already and it's going really well so I'm really excited about that. The second job I got actually from being on YouTube and talking about writing um, as a freelance writer. So someone found my YouTube videos and he runs this website and he contacted me also to write for him. I just showed him my website. He said he, my writing style will work well for his website and he hired me. So I'm currently working with him to come up with ideas for his website. I'm going to do an entire series on minimalism which I'm really really excited about because I don't write too much about minimalism on my website. My website's currently based around travel, but I do want to implement more minimalist tips in there. But right now I mainly keep it toward travel, so I'm really, really excited to write about minimalism, write about traveling, um, write, write like itineraries, and also write on my own website. 
So that is everything that I'm doing right now. I know that's not the most helpful way to give advice on how to get these writing jobs, but basically my best advice for you if you want to be a freelance writer is to number one, be very, very patient <laughs> because I applied for so many jobs online before I got either of these two jobs. I cannot even tell you how many jobs I applied for as a writer. Um, it's not easy to get freelance work online, I will tell you that, as a writer. Um, yeah, so be really patient and tell everyone that you know that you are interested in freelance writing because your most likely way of getting a job, I believe, is who you know. So if you can get referred by someone, that is very, very helpful and that's probably your best bet. Applying online for jobs has never actually worked out for me. If you want to be a writer, I think your best bet is to talk to people about it. Also, you can Google search um, how to get freelance writing jobs. There are so many websites that you can just write an article for and submit it, and if they accept it, they'll pay you for it. Um, I have looked into quite a few of those. I haven't gotten to the point where I've been had time, honestly, to write something for them and submit it but I hope to do that someday just to kind of get out there a little bit more. Um, being out there more, even doing guest posts for people that may be unpaid can help you a lot even though you're not making money from that. It, you just really want to get out there, get your name out there, let people see your writing and that can help you a lot. If you do a simple Google, Google search, there is so much information online about um, writing jobs and how to get them. Also, if there's something that you're very passionate about, I would suggest looking into websites and magazines that are focused around that because that will help you immensely instead of just looking for random writing jobs. So yeah, <laughs> um, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more. I make videos on travel minimalism, saving money. If you guys have any video suggestions, please leave them in please leave them in the comments below. If you have any questions, please leave them, leave them in the comments below. I would like to do a Q&A soon because I've been getting a lot of random questions that aren't really enough to make a video about. So if I can get all the questions in one area, that would be awesome. So leave your questions for me down below. Any question that you have, I'll make a Q&A video and I will put your question in it. <laughs> I will see you guys soon in the next video. Bye.